I study decision making um, and what I do is I think about models and tools to improve decision making in the design and operation of complex systems. So for example, I study things as diverse as um, disaster response, international development, and even the design of spacecraft. So imagine that you have landed in Haiti after the earthquake in 2010, and you've been asked to figure out how to get aid to people who need it. How do you know what you need? How do you know whether they need food, shelter, water? How are you going to get it to them? So we study how people actually make those decisions in practice by observing training exercises where these kinds of emergencies are simulated and we see what experts do. I was interested in a doctoral program that had a heavy hands-on approach to real-world problems as opposed to something that was heavily theoretical. So Erika's work appealed to me. For those who want to enter the engineering management and systems engineering program in the future, I would say talk to advisors whom you think you would prospectively work with. It's not always clear when you're just looking at a website if those are good matches. So I think trying to get to know at least one of the faculty members before you come um, is a great idea. I use uh, social media and big data to understand how diseases, and, and in particular opinions about diseases, are spread throughout the country. We try to understand why people engage in behaviors that may be ill-advised. So for example, why people might refuse vaccination even though it's well understood that vaccines are safe and effective. While surveys are a valuable tool, that's slow and it's expensive, and so if we can do the same thing except use the big data social media aspect and you know sort of replicate and augment those surveys we can get a faster cheaper and more dynamic as access to that same information often a problem requires more than one discipline to solve and at the research lab we try to see the problems through other lenses in addition to systems engineering lens lmi research institute funded this proposal we wrote about two years ago on developing a tool or a module to monitor the condition of assets in a healthcare facility. What we're trying to implement is condition-based maintenance in a healthcare setting. What we would like to do is monitor how often equipment is used, how long it's been used for, the temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, that's all been shown to degrade equipment over time. The most exciting part of working with Dr. Shitu for me has been being able to go out and pitch the technology to our sponsor as well as people who might be stakeholders out in the industry. DC and GW in particular um, provide the perfect environment to do this. For example, where else can you do policy research in the United States if it's not in, in Washington DC? And more so if it's in Washington DC, which other institution can you point at aside George Washington University?